Awesome. Um, so back to talk about Jump Cloud Go, and I want to show what's new. Um, most ex the thing I'm most excited about is our new um, solutions page. So this is the solutions page that highlights um, this amazing capability. On this page, not only can you find um, some overviews, a video of how this gets configured, um, there's also access to the, the Jump Cloud Go feature brief, which can be a great uh, asset to share if you're looking to dig into the details and understand um, more about Jump Cloud Go um, and, and share that with others. So uh, what the heck is it? Um, seeing is believing. And uh, let's let's play a real world scenario, which is I'm Scott. I work at a company called Jump Cloud. We use this platform called Jump Cloud. And Jump Cloud is how I securely authenticate to the resources I use to get work done. One of those key resources is the Jump Cloud community. Um, so this will be demonstrating a uh, natural um, SP initiated flow to a Jump Cloud protected web resource. So I'm a Jump Cloud employee. So I click here to get here. And wow, look at this. Let's click again to log in with Jump Cloud Go. Put my finger on my uh, Touch ID authenticator on my Mac. And uh, here I am. I am now ready to make work happen. That is my authentication experience for the day. Um, how did that all happen? That all happened with the immense amount of effort and work that's gone into this incredible solution that is Jump Cloud Go. Um, and as the solution breathe calls out, this is kind of this amazing feature that's at the intersection of productivity and security, where we're using a hardware backed token stored inside the um, secure enclave on my Mac OS device to uh, get me to my resources without me having to enter a password. Um, thinking about where this fits in terms of, you know, your world as a user, or as a human, right? We think about our, our security online. And uh, as we've evolved with technology. We remember the days of entering just a password to get to our resources. That then evolved into um, two-factor where we we're getting codes on our phones that, that let people know that those services, we had our phones, so we put the code in so that people couldn't hack us. And now we've evolved in some really powerful flows that involve those push authentication where we get pushes on our watches to approve. What's at the top of this model? Well, you just saw it. It's passwordless. It's the idea that your uh, security is tied directly to your identity and your physical work computer. And having access to that, being signed into your work account and your work computer is what gives you the highest authenticator assurance to get you to your resource. So there's nothing more powerful on top of that than to throw in the inher inheritance factor. You are who you are so that your fingerprint is what gets you there. So Jump Cloud Go is us realizing the power of this incredible Jump Cloud platform it is certainly um, to protect and manage right now SSO applications. And uh, the whole idea is that this is what you get with an all-in-one platform that does device, identity, single sign-on, um, and access management. So again, uh, Jump Cloud Go, the, the best place to dig into it's on the website. And if you're curious where this lives inside your admin portal, go ahead and sign in here, and I'll show you where that lives. In the demo gods. Inside the admin portal, Jump Cloud Go is enabled for all new accounts. Um, all existing accounts have to first turn the feature on. Um, so where this feature lives for existing accounts that might not have it enabled is on the features tab. Um, once the feature is enabled, the way that we interact with the computer and the browser is through a browser extension. This is analogous to the Windows accounts extension that Microsoft uses for the primary refresh token. And you'll see right now we have the Chrome web extension. I'm currently in development are uh, adding full support for Edge and Brave. Um, they'll use the same Chrome extension and we're developing two new extensions, one for Firefox and one for Safari. The way you can deploy this extension, it's up to you. Um, with a powerful platform, as we talked about with Federation, we are all about understanding that you use other tools, um, other uh, workforce productivity suites. So you're welcome to use Jump Cloud and our policies to deploy this extension. Or if you're a Google shop, I highly recommend using Chrome Browser Cloud Management as this really is a better together story between Jump Cloud and Google as we can enforce enrollment into Chrome Browser Cloud Management. And then you can gain all of the power of managing the Chrome browser inside of this uh, free to use tool. Um, doesn't actually require that you have a Google Workspaces paid account. So really, really excited about our better together story with Chrome Browser Cloud Management. And then once it's there, we have this browser extension highlight some of the new capabilities of the browser extension. You'll see right now that I'm on an open tab. If I click this, this now opens a new tab and brings me to the user portal. If I happen to be in an empty tab, 
and there's nothing that I'm highlighted on, I'm just in the new tab space and I click it, it'll populate that new tab space with the user portal. So I have a new behavior as a user using the jump cloud that is uh, I'm constantly clicking on this to get to my user assets. And this is actually how I get to the admin portal now too, as you can get to the admin portal with just a click. Um, so other browsers being released, ETA for jump cloud go, um, I can tell you, um, I would say by the end of Q1 next year is the most pessimistic estimate I have. The most optimistic estimate is to get it out to you before the end of the year. So I want to give you some boundaries on those pessimistic and optimistic estimates. Um, and again, right now, the, the Jump Cloud Go browser for Chromium based, it can be installed, but it's in an unsupported capacity. Uh, I want to make sure that we run it through all the tests, but uh, I've had a number of users pop up inside of the lounge saying, hey, the Jump Cloud Go browser extension works on Edge. Um, it also works inside of Brave. Awesome. Um, totally understand that it works, but we want to make sure that we get it fully supported. And in addition to making it fully supported, we will also be giving you information on how to deploy it. Every application is its own beast in terms of management. So Chrome is a fully managed enterprise browser, browser as highlighted by Chrome Browser Cloud Management. Um, Edge also has some management controls as it's Chromium management. But understand when we get into the Firefox and Safari land, there may be different methods that are uh, the roads to getting the browser extension installed. Um, we've got an open feature request with Safari to help us get managed extensions in there as an MDM vendor. But right now, all Safari extensions are user-led installs where the user is adding the extension to their browser. So that's what I've got. I'm super excited to share these resources. I've highlighted what's new. And again, uh, just as a user using it, one of the, my uh, Easter eggs or something that I do as a new behavior that's saving me a ton of time is just getting used to clicking on this to get to the user portal so I can get to my resources with a single click. This also makes URL bookmarks potentially a lot more useful for your organization. So understand that this is a portal that if you're not using us for SSO, there's value to be had with Jump Cloud Go, giving easy access to uh, potentially company resources or a homepage. Um, a lot of fun stuff that you can uh, create and bring to your organization with Jump Cloud Go um, now that it's just a more seamless access way to get to the user portal and uh, get to those uh, precious resources inside of it. Oh, hey, Kelly. How are you, Kelly? I see you there. Um, also highlight, super excited. Uh, if anyone has any questions, feedback on the new macOS login window, want to shout out Kelly. Um, she was a huge help in uh, refining that at the Mac Admins Conference in Penn State. So super excited to uh, take her feedback, build that into the product. And that's what we're here for. We're here to listen. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.